of you and your contributor um, fail to accept that different age groups might have ex- might have experienced something differently. If I just give you just a short, uh, I bought a house 30, 30 odd years ago. Mm-hmm. I lost ten thousand pound on that house within two years mm-hmm. because of negative equity. I paid sixteen and a half percent interest. Could you tell? Could you tell me how it is that I'm better off than people today, even at four and a half percent, where it is? How how is it that you? you Shall I tell you why? You, 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 you can't tell me why because anything, t- no, other, no, no, anything no. other than accepting that I've had it difficult. No, diff- I've got children that are the age group that you're talking about now. Mm-hmm. Um, and when you, if if you fail, why is it? How is it now so popular that people go out, drink coffee, get their nails done, their eyelashes done? They can freely spend their money on whatever they do, and my children did you do. Not, did you not have coffee back in the seventies, Robert? You're not having any I coffee. Wouldn't, I wouldn't have paid four or five pound for a. For a well, co- no, for that a would coffee. have that would have been unlikely given the inflation. And, 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 and I won't and I won't pay it now. Well, well, good for you. But shall I tell you why the, you're wrong on, in terms of what are the difference? The difference is, yes, you may have been paying briefly. Has to be said, not consistently. Briefly, fifteen percent interest rates. The difference is now <laughs> is that even with interest rates at four or five percent, in real yeah. terms, that is a bigger burden for people, someone taking out a mortgage today, because of the difference in house prices. When you were buying your house whenever yeah. it was, back in a few decades ago, when you were buying your house, relative yeah. house prices were only three to four or maybe five times yeah. average income. Now they are seven, yeah. eight, nine or ten times yeah. average income. You're, you're, so in real you're, terms... You're, you're, you're basing that on the knowledge that you know everybody's income, aren't you? See, what you're no, doing, no, it's called an average. No, no, That's why I'm using no, no, the word average. No, no, what you're I can't, doing... Obviously, I don't know is, everybody's income. I, I don't have a piece of paper here saying you're that. Failing, you're failing to accept that the possibility is that just my age group and yours and my children's have all got different challenges to bear. Yeah, of course, and everybody that, has different challenges. Of course they do. I've said that at the very are. beginning. But I'm talking. So, we've got. But Robert, we've got to talk. The point is, is that we've got to talk generally and looking at the mm-hmm. economic data across generations. Of course, people within the generations are going to have different challenges, and they're going to be rich people, they're going to be poor people. Different generations will have different challenges. Mm-hmm. Of course, no generation has it completely easy. Of course, they don't. But what mm-hmm. I find, what I what I struggle to understand is why people like yeah. yourself, with respect don't yeah. acknowledge just on the basis of the empirical data that on house prices, on wages, which are the things that matter most, is that the generation below you and the one yeah. below that has had it much more difficult than your own. No, I don't believe that. Yeah, but you might not, not believe it. It's, it's just fact. It doesn't matter no, what not, you believe. It's not fact because you're not considering that whilst my daughter's at university, because I don't, because I have, uh, I'm married and have stayed married for the years that I have, because I'm a homeowner, now I'm having to fund my daughter's accommodation for five to six to seven thousand pounds a year. Yeah. Uh, my parents, my parents didn't have to do that. Yeah. But, so well, there you go. But I'm talking but, about yeah. wages, and I'm talking about no, house prices. But, my, but my, my my wages at the age that I am are having to be spent on other things that people in their forties aren't even considering. But, but, but when right did you now. buy? When did you buy your house, Robert? I just I said you about thirty years ago. Thirty years ago, how much has it gone up in value since then? I'm not in the same house, am I? Obviously. Well, okay. Well, how much do you think you've, you? So you've consistently got you've consistently sort of bought up, right? I, I, there is I, no I, way we're going to see house price appreciation, the sort of which we're, that we're, your generation has enjoyed. How much did you? How much did you buy your first house for? How much did I buy? It was about fifty-eight thousand pounds. Fifty-eight thousand pounds. The average house price today has accelerated in that yeah. in real terms by fa- yeah. by by. An enormous amount. So, and what am I? What am I going to have to do with my house if I have to go into a home? Me, because I've spent, I spent all well, my. Well, at least life, you're going to have that. What's my generation going to have? We're not even going to have a home to do that. That's the point I'm making. No, well, you're you're missing the point. No, no, because if you, you if just you don't, don't want to hear home, it. If you don't, you, if you don't have a home to go in. You'll get trundled off to a to a care home. Oh, good! But my house will be taken away from me. That's oh, yesterday's oh, point good. about in, so you'll about get to tax. so you'll get to choose you'll get to choose the sort of care that you have and have a good quality care I and hope the, hope the rest well, of us. You know, but I just don't understand why it is that, that 
people of your generation simply aren't able to accept the empirical facts. You say you don't believe it. It's just a fact. You know what? Like I said, what I said to Rachel Cunliffe, it's absolutely fine. Good luck to you. I am so glad that you had that house price increase and you benefited from it. I'm so glad that you had the price, that you had stable. Uh, I'm so glad that you're, there was real price, uh, real wage yeah. growth in that time. I'm so glad. Yeah. Good for you. I just wish we'd had it the same. And I just wish you would recognise that the no, generations you, you below you, you have not you enjoyed those things. It's just you, fact. You don't, know that, you don't know that you won't have it the same. You well, we've had 13 years. We have 15 years since the financial crisis. We haven't had it. A whole generation's already been scarred. There's no recovery from that. It's already affected permanently people's long-term yeah. wage growth. That is a fact. So the prices of houses didn't go down last month, then? They went down for one month, Robert. They went down for one month. Mm. Do you think that's going to reverse literally 15 to 20 years of this stuff? It went down for one month, because, mate. Because, because it did 30 years ago. Because it's happened before. You're, right. you're missing... Okay. It, 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 so you it, think it's going to go back down to 58 grand, the average, when you bought your house? You think the average house, which is currently over a quarter of a million pounds, is going to go back down to 58 grand any time soon? Well, it might, might it? OK, maybe it might. Lots of things might happen. Thank you, Robert, uh, in Essex there. We're grateful to him. And it's good to have the uh, discussion. And I can see lots of you. I want to get more of you in there. But it's, I, I do feel that Robert does rather sum it up. I can't understand why... You know what? Like, if, if I... If I won the lottery, I would be able to recognise that I'd be like, I'm glad I've won the lottery and I'm glad that I've had this good fortune and I'm sorry that other people haven't had it, but I wouldn't pretend, I wouldn't just go to everybody else, well, you might win the lottery. It might happen to you. Don't, don't, don't feel jealous of me. Just, you know, it might happen to you. It's not that I, it's, I've had a particularly good thing happen to me. I mean, it's just crazy. Just don't get it.